Well, hello there. Today I'm going to show you the Franken amp right here, which used to be a Sony integrated stereo amplifier TAAX320. Now, why is it a Franken amp now? I'll tell you the story. I bought this thing for parts on eBay because the seller said it didn't even, it didn't even turn on it no sound come came out of it so I thought well, well it had maybe it's just a blown fuse well it turns out this thing was based off of two SDK integrated amplifier chips well you you know those big big ICs where it's all integrated in one package and one of them had failed causing the protection circuitry to not click the relay not engage the relay which gave output to the speakers now I said well let's let's just replace that module right so I went on eBay I looked for that module and the thing was 25 euro I paid 5 euro for this thing with 1 euro shipping I wasn't gonna pay 25 euro for something that isn't even a discrete transistor amplifier so what I did was well I said let's see what I can do with parts that I have so I had this portion of circuit board which is actually a quarter of the original circuit board this heatsink wasn't on it, by the way. Which is the amplifier part from one of those fake component stereo systems. Which, well, it was from a Philips and the capacitors are actually, as you can see, that's one, that one's a Matsushita, those ones are Nichicons, I think. And the amp is a TDA something. Actually, it sound, sounded pretty decent. So I thought, I, I could integrate that into that amplifier. I could just throw that in there. Put a line input into there, and that's it. So what I did was, I took the output, which goes right from here, which went to the modules. Line level, well, regulated line level by the volume control, which went out to each of the modules, which were here and here. And I just took that out and I connected it to the amp. And it worked out fine. But, now we had a problem. This thing has had a huge ass transformer and this thing can take up only up to 20 volts. So, what did I do? I took out that big ass transformer which had like uh, it was a hundred volts with a center tap, I think. So it took 220 volts and it converted it down to 100 volts with a center tap. So that re rectified, gave the amplifier about uh, 55, plus 55 and minus 55 volts for the things. So I had a VCR which had a linear power supply, an old VCR, which was completely broken, it was unsalvageable, so I took the transformer out of that. Well, it turns out this thing had a tap right here, which is 60 volts with a center tap, so that was perfect. I could, I could power all of the amplifier's logic perfectly fine because the amplifier itself, the only parts that took the 50 volts rectified were the amplifier modules themselves. The rest of the amp uses two linear converters right here, which take the voltage down to plus and minus 15 volts. So we got all the logic working fine. Now, this, the amplifier, how did I get it working? Well. Turns out this transformer had another tap right here, which is 
uh, I think 15 volts or so which is completely isolated from the other tap so I just rectified it under here there's four diodes I took this out of an old CRT monitor which I, which was unsalvageable of course and I just well fed it in s straight into the filter cap and I'm getting about 17, 17 volts I know I'm not regulating this this is coming straight from the transformer but regulating the power is the power company's job not mine so there you can you will notice there's also this wire coming out of here from the 17 volt tap and goes to power something in the front well that's because I put a level meter not a VU meter but a level meter on the front of the amp right here which I took out of a cassette deck which was beyond salvageable why because it had rubber gears who the heck thought rubber gears were a good idea they just decomposed they just turned into goo like belts do well thing is I could salvage this from the amp this isn't really it's in the camera it's looking like it's really glowing out of there it's really not you can you can't really notice it's just the white balance on it and this is an actual line level uh, meter taken straight out from the cassette record output right there on the back as you can see the cable just goes it's all shielded by the way of course naturally I ran out of space well another modification that I did which is well there's two modifications left which were these caps I replaced these filter caps they were like 47,000 uh, microfarads each 50 volts I kept those for other projects and I just threw whatever I had in store for these because well the power draw isn't isn't that much from this the only thing that draws power pretty much from this is the the phono preamp in there which draws like 150 milliamp so these are like 150 microfarad capacitors 400 volts they seem to be doing the job just fine and I also hooked up the light bulb this is the original light bulb by the way into the dial uh, I hooked it up to another tap in the transformer right here which gave it 7 volts which was the original voltage this thing ran at so amazing so that's that's the Franken amp pretty much as you can see it's got well it's got five output five inputs I'm sorry well actually six inputs because the video input is actually you can switch in between video one and video two and yeah the tone controls don't work anymore because I think they played with the gains in the amp modules I'm not sure but the thing is they don't work anymore balance control does work and volume control does work too I'm playing some music off of my travel my tr trusty travel laptop a uh, Toshiba Satellite 4000 CDS and here could be the spectator let's listen to how it sounds like Well, enough of that. So, the thing sounds pretty good actually for being mm, so crude, but it sounds pretty good. The only thing is, is like, it's only now like 8 watts per channel at 8 ohms into the speakers. So, yeah, and this thing is, this thing has 4 speaker outputs. 
as you can see, A and B. So, yeah, it can't really power four speakers at a listenable level. So, well, that's the Frankenamp. Hope you liked it. And now I have Instagram. So I can upload hipster things into there. I'll put a link in the description right down there. So, bye.